Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request for Hunter Darkwolf, who wanted uh, the uh, Zaku Kai Fritz helmet in his own custom colors, and I think the colors came out pretty good, and uh, round came out pretty nice too. Uh, I am using the MMP-80 with grenade launcher, and the uh, Fritz helmet is not bad, all told. It, it This was a little more differentiated from the uh, Zaku, standard Zaku Kai in the first game, where only the Fritz Helmet had a dodge roll. They now both do, I believe the uh, Fritz Helm has more enhanced tackle than the uh, standard Zaku Kai, though. Let's see, enemy trying to take the uh, take point E, and we've already fought off a, a Zaku 1 sniper, which hmm, always, always good to uh, take the upper hand in the fight against type. Got that, uh, got that uh, mobile suit. And, let's see, there's another one up here that is probably, yeah, I think the person's about to eject and go after point E. Uh, there's a lot of people just kind of throw themselves at point E for the, uh, during this match. Tagged the shield on one of those swings, sadly, so I did not do as much damage as I could have. But, had a teammate uh, step in and stop me from getting hit too hard. Took the Sturmfaust, managed to uh, hit it dead on, and somebody else got the kill and that's fine. This is when I discovered the Zaku 1 Sniper is using Magellatop. That causes heavy stagger, and as the Zaku 1 Sniper uh, demonstrates at least one point during the round, uh, actually gives us decent melee options, because... Uh, okay, and one of our teammates just got disconnected. I think maybe... This was a rated match, so I think they maybe accidentally tagged too many allies with a... Uh, with a, a uh, beam r uh, with a sniper rifle, I think that's what happened. I'm not 100% sure, but whatever the reason, we are down a person, and we're also down about 600 points. So yeah, I saw most of the uh, team was dead, so it was time to pull way back and hide under these rocks, trying to just avoid taking damage as much as possible. But this, I think that's a gym command that is just on me, and just trying to throw stuns at it, trying not to get killed, do throw damage as much as I can. Ran out of bullets. If I had not, if I had had a, uh, if I had reloaded that at any point, I probably would have had enough firepower to kill that. Okay, Jim Cold. Yeah, that's even worse. Um, I would, probably would have had time to kill that by the, before it killed me. Didn't work out that way though, so we will just have to uh, jump back in. We're only 800 points down, and being down one person, that's not a terrible thing. They're trying to take uh, the point again. I am going to stop them by walking over them. Save the point, and let's see. Yeah, they're coming in hard to try and save their person who is already dead. They just okay. Somebody else is now trying to take the point. They are really dedicated to that, and I think it's thanks to that dedication that we are able to pull ahead here. Because if enough people uh, drop dead while they're uh, they're trying to take that point, it gives us pretty good advantage. That's another kill. Did not get that uh, pilot, but I have another chance. There's another person trying to take the point. I'm pretty sure there's still one more pilot over there. Yep, got them both, and now there's just this freak to deal with. I'm alone up here, but that's not too bad. But yeah, as you can see, go uh, just go, being all in on going after that point did not work out for them. Now I just got to get a shot, and yeah, if we, uh, Doug Schneid is dead. Was thinking about trying to take E back, but there I'm pretty sure that's the Zaku 1 sniper down there that's taking pot shots at me. And yes, I send a thanks because somebody did just bail me out hard. And yeah, so we are doing pretty well though, and I did manage... I didn't hold the hill, but I kept them from taking it. Looks like they may be ready to try again, which yeah, definition of insanity and all that. Sometimes you just can't take that point, and there are alternatives. Like, take the outside point so you can throw more support fire at the people in the center. And right now we're split up a little bit. I believe one of our teammates is just over the... Yeah, off to the side. And the fact that that is working with us being a person down is kind of amazing in and of itself. Got that. And, yeah, Zaku1 uh, Sniper just did a really nice little combo that never occurred to me because I prefer to use the beam rifle where that's not quite as possible. I used to be able to pull it off sometimes, but not not as consistently as a heavy stagger would let me do. But yeah, so heavy stagger at, at medium to close range into shoulder tackle, that's going to work. And notice I said shoulder tackle as opposed to counter tackle, that is the Zaku 1 sniper's downswing specifically. 
And yeah, we are now leading 6300 to 5100. We'll see how it turns out, but it's not a bad round so far. I'm going to come in at 2 because that way I can just, it'll be the easiest way to get back with the rest of the team. They are on and or around E. Well, some support fire hit the top, but I don't think hit any enemies. Sturmfaust out, blew a shield, grenade out too, hit nothing. And I don't think I did actually destroy the shield, so I'm just going to work any shields I see, try and blow them up for the stun. Because that is uh, something, if you know a shield is about to uh, uh, break, you can stun somebody with any attack if you manage to break it, so it's worth trying sometimes. Tagged Zaku one sniper, it tagged me harder, but was denied follow-up by my stun. It caught a counter on that person, though. And now in, and yeah, a couple of good swings. Managed to knock down two enemies with that. Got a good swing there. Almost got out of the way of that gym's attack. Didn't quite. Luckily, there was an uh, allied armored gym uh, working that Doug Schneid, so it did not have a chance to capitalize on my uh, uh, down. And it is now dead, so that's something. But they're within 1,300 points of us. That They are a little bit more concentrated and a little bit more focused, and that can add up when we're down a person. So, yeah, just trying to uh, keep ahead. There's a bunch of people nearly dead, including me, but I was hoping to get some uh, kills on the enemy side first. They managed to pull it together and catch back up a little bit, 6,800 to 6,300. I think they're still trying to take E, which could work out to our advantage, but I don't think they're trying quite as hard. If I can get back in there in a second, that would be good. Minute and 20 left. Uh, Still, it, at this point, it is really anybody's game. I forget whether we took this or not. I think we did, but I remember it was close. The fact that we got it to close against a larger team, not bad. I launched that Sturmfaust, I was going to fire a follow-up, and then I noticed my entire team was dead, and the entire enemy team was f uh, bearing down on me, so much better to just get back, especially when I found out... Yeah, when I found out there was one enemy at our base that we can isolate and kill and hopefully get that lead, so that's what we're going to try to do. Especially since it's that Doug Schneider of Freed, and we need to protect our support anyway. And... Sturmfaust is all is out. Caught... Did I catch it? Nope, didn't catch it. Gonna try... We've got a, like, hundred and something point uh, deficit. We can do this, especially if I just keep shooting that guy. That got the, uh, got the kill. And now I'm pushing forward because there's someone there, like, surrounded by three other people. And if I leave it alone, we will lose. So I've got to get in there and at least cause as much delay as I can, hinder as many attacks as I can, so that number two survives. That is my goal, keep number two alive. So I've got a lot more health than number two, so I can work on that. They're focused on me, which means they don't have as much time to uh, finish off two. I think two is going to lose it, but we've gotten enough other kills that we are going to win by 15 points. So... I think that's what we won by, and I think we won. We did win, so let's take a look here. And... Yes, we won by 15 points, and I was the top score at 2,600. 82,000 damage. Uh, Armored Jim got top assist at 540. Seven kills and three deaths, and I hope you enjoyed this, Hunter. I think it turned out really well, so... That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more. So till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! That was just a really great uh, confluence of uh, winning conditions there. Barely scraping out a win always feels uh, good for some reason, and so does winning when you're down a person. So with the two together, that, that really was nice.